Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited to be filming this, but I'm going to show you guys a little TJ Maxx makeup haul. I went to um, a few different TJ Maxx's in my area and they had some really good stuff. So I wanted to film a haul for you and I've been watching a lot of videos on like what I found at TJ Maxx. They're just like super fun to see what everyone is getting. I know lots of stores have different things and it's fun to see like what's coming out and how you can score a really good deal on high end makeup. Some of my favorites to watch are the ones that like they're filming in the store and they're showing you guys everything they have. And I tried to do that but it was like a total fail because there was literally employees like all around the store so I didn't want to be like super weird but I will probably insert some clips of different things I also found that I didn't pick up but um, if you guys haven't checked out your TJ Maxx lately you should definitely go because I've seen some really good stuff and I I'm not really a big TJ Maxx makeup shopper but now I'm kind of like obsessed with it but when I used to go, they would always have just like junk and everything would be broken, everything would be swatched and open, but it seems like they're getting better um, with their makeup because a lot of it was unopened. And some of it even has like sensor bar, sensor boxes around it so that people can't open it, which is awesome. I found a lot of stuff from brands, they have like a lot of Kat Von D, they have Marc Jacobs, Stila, Too Faced, a lot of stuff that you can find at Sephora. Um, and it's always cheaper even than the, like the Sephora clearance. TJ Maxx is like even half that. So they have really good prices. So anyways, enough rambling. Let's go on and get into the video. So the first thing that I picked up, this is actually a foundation from Becca. This is their Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I got this shade Light. Now normally this isn't really something that I would pick up just because I'm not a huge fan of like luminous foundations. But I thought for um, $12.99 I could go ahead and try it. I believe that's a pretty good price for Becca. Her foundations are probably like $40. So this is the light shade, which um, it still has the seal on it and everything. So I'm hoping that this will look pretty good. I don't have a ton of more tan um, foundations in my collection. They're all like super fair and I'm usually kind of in between. I can't wait to try this out and see how it does. Um, and yeah, I got the shade light and I've seen a ton of these at different TJ Maxx's. Um, tons of different shades, so I think this one's pretty easy to find. I also picked up this from Too Faced. I'm also super excited for this. So this is their Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so they clearance a bunch of these out because they got like brand new packaging and a new kind of formulation. And so this one is $16.99, so about $17, which I also thought was a pretty good price. That's about half off the regular price. But I actually really love the old formula of their eyeshadows. And I remember I used to have the original natural palette not the matte one but the other one and I absolutely loved it so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up I have the um, new version of the natural eye palette but I really feel like I like their old formula better so here is the packaging and then here is the inside so just beautiful matte shades I remember people raved about this palette um, when it came out so super excited about that find also mixed in a couple random things I bought too just like office desk stuff so I got this super cute um, little Ray Dunn piece I'm like obsessed with Ray Dunn items and they had a bunch of cute little office stuff and I wanted to decorate my desk so I love this. It just says Girl Boss on it um, from Ray Dunn. This is $6.99. So it has this really pretty lettering. And then in the back it says Vision to See Obstacles as Opportunities, which I think this is so cute because I am a little girl boss in my own way on YouTube. So I had to grab that. And then I think this is the only other like home item. But I saw this super cute pencil holder and it has a little... Um, eyelashes on it. I thought that was adorable. It's like a really pretty pink so I'm going to hold all my pencils and pens in here but you can also use it for like makeup brushes and this was only $3.99 so I thought that was pretty all right, cute. Now the rest will be beauty stuff. So this next product is actually a skincare item. I actually saw a lot of Bare Mineral skincare there so I wanted to try this because it had really good reviews on Sephora because I often tend to find stuff at TJ Maxx that has like bad reviews on Sephora like maybe they're getting rid of but this one had like almost five stars. This is the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir Skin Volumizing Oil Serum. This sounds so good. So let's go ahead and open it. I am a little bit nervous about the skincare there just because I'm not sure like how long it's been sitting, how old it is, but we'll go ahead and give this a try. So here is what it looks like. Let me know if you guys have had good luck with their skincare items. 
because I'm super curious. But basically this is supposed to promote the look of youthful fullness, reinforce resilience, and deeply hydrate and nourish. So I can't wait to use this. This one was $12.99 and I believe it retails for a ton more, like maybe in the $50 range even. I think it's really expensive, but I thought $12.99 was a good price for that. And then I also picked up some deodorant. They had La Vanilla there, so I was like, yes, I have to get this. Um, this is the Vanilla Passion Fruit one. So I haven't tried this kind of, always use the original vanilla one, but I love this deodorant and it's a nice aluminum free one. So this one is $7.99 and I think it's like $16 originally. Now most of this haul is going to be lipsticks, so they just have some really fun colors at a deal I can't pass up. It's like drugstore prices for high end stuff. So I die. They have the Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Lipsticks there, which is amazing. I know they went on clearance at Sephora for like a week, but then they're back up to full price. So I don't know how TJ Maxx got them, but they're only um, $6.99 at TJ Maxx, which is amazing. So, so far I've only been able to find reds, but I grabbed both of them, but I'm still on the hunt for some of the more like pinky colors. So this one is called Moi Caliente. Here is what it looks like. I absolutely adore their packaging for these. And this one looks like a matte red. I think this will be really nice. This formula is more of a drier matte formula, but I like that for reds because I know they won't budge off my lips. So that is Moi Caliente. And then the other red one I picked up is called Breakfast Club. So this one has just a little bit more, like, I guess it would be like a little bit more orange to it. So I picked up both of those. Normally I'm not like a huge red wearer, but I can't pass out the $6.99 price. And then I also got um, this Kat Von D lipstick. This one is in the shade Cathedral. So I saw a lot of her Study Kiss line there. She has actually just like a ton of products at TJ Maxx. They just, all her products seem to go there. So I thought this would be a really fun like fall color. Let's swatch this one. Ooh, that is so pretty. It's like a mauvey brown. Gorgeous. I cannot wait to try that. I've heard that these are a little bit drying, but um, this one was $7.99, so I'm excited to be able to try her formula. All right, next, a bag full of goodies. It's mostly, again, lip products. So the first thing I found, this one is from Becca, and this is their Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss. Love the packaging, and this is in the shade Amethyst and G Amethyst times Geode, and these are $7.99, and I could not pass this up. This is so pretty. Just look at that. That color is beautiful. This is just a fun little lip topper that kind of creates a more purple look to your lips. I'll try to swatch this, but it's just more like a duochrome. It's pretty bright, but I think it's kind of just fun to play with, so I picked up that one. I also picked up one of these Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. I saw a few colors in this, but this one is the one that I've been wanting because um, this one makes a really great highlight. So this one is called Thunderstruck, and it was $6.99. Here is what it looks like, and then I'll swatch this for you. But yeah, it's a really pretty, like, pale um, champagne, which would be beautiful as a highlighter. So that is what I'm going to be using mine for. And if you guys are looking for a new highlighter, I would grab this little shadow. It's so amazing. And her other ones, um, her single, her Metal Crush ones are awesome. I also found this Bite Beauty lipstick. Bite is one of my favorite lipstick brands. So this is like the only one I saw, but it looked like it was a nude shade. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is one of their buttercream lipsticks. And this is in the shade Cream. So these are more like flat tipped because it's supposed to give you like the most pigment being um, the flat tip instead of the pointed. So this is what Cream looks like on my hand. It's a little bit more brown tone, but I can't wait to test it and see how it looks on the lips. And if I didn't say that already, this one was $5.99. Next up, I picked up another Kat Von D item. This one I think was a little bit pricey. But um, I just grabbed it anyway because it included some really fun colors. So this is her Everlasting Lip Duo um, in the shades Suspiria and Melancholia. And I do not have these shades. The reason I thought it was a little pricey is because it is $10. Um, and these are both minis. So I kind of wasn't really thinking about that. But, I mean, I do like minis. I hardly ever use up full sizes. So this will work for me. So, oh my gosh. That is like purple. So I think that will be fun to play with. That one is Suspiria and then Melancholia is more like bright pink. So I thought these 
colors would be fun to experiment with and I do like her liquid lipsticks. And then I also picked up a lip liner. This one is from Stila. It's their Stay All Day Lip Liners. I heard that these were really good and my store had a bunch of them and because they're and they're only $3.99 which is such a good price. So this one is Pink Moscato. I feel like this is going to be my everyday shade. It's just a perfect light pink. Ooh, it's kind of like purple toned almost. Here is a swatch. Very pretty. I'm very happy with this purchase. A couple more things. The last lip product item I have is from Marc Jacobs, and I'm so excited. I found a Lamarck lip cream. I hardly ever see my TJ Maxx, but they had a red color once again. Um, and I've seen at TJ Maxx a lot of the Kiss Pop ones, but... I'm so excited. The Lamarck lip creams are amazing. This one was only $8.99, which is a steal. So this one's called Ray of Light, and it is kind of like a deeper brick red. Let's swatch this. I think it's a lot different than my other reds I got. Oh my gosh, this formula. So here is Ray of Light. So three reds here to play with. Um, I really do love this deeper brick red. I think that's so pretty. So yeah, I definitely don't need any more red lipsticks for a while, but this was definitely an awesome find. Alright, and then lastly, this is probably one of my favorite things I found. This is from Bare Minerals, one of their Gen Nude powder blushes. These are fairly new, like they're not that old. Um, and I've always wanted to try one, just never picked one up. Um, and these were $7.99. So this is... This really pretty nudie peach called Bellini Brunch. And here is what it looks like. This is a really pretty color. Oh my gosh, these are really creamy. You guys, I'm going to become addicted to these and I'm going to like buy them at full price. But I'm going to try and see if I can find more at TJ Maxx. But that is Bellini Brunch down there. Just like a perfect natural peach. So, yeah, I would love to find more of these. Let me know if you guys have been finding other colors at your stores because this is probably one of my favorite finds. Alright guys, so I believe that is everything in my TJ Maxx haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave a clip here of some other stuff that was at the stores and the prices. Just like a little quick little run through. Alright, so I wanted to do a little voiceover here of some other stuff I found. I found these MAC lip pencils, a set of three. And also this MAC product. I'm not sure exactly what it is, and I know I should have gotten prices on this part, but this was my first time, so I'm just kind of showing you what is there. They also have this Smashbox matte eyeshadow palette. It's like a little mini one. So I thought they had some cool stuff. Is that Aurora Glow Kit, um, the Shade and Light Eye from Kat Von D. They had a bunch of those mini ones there. And then there's the Becca Perfecting Foundation. There's also a Smashbox CC Cream, which was cool. The Anastasia Stick Foundation. I think I found Banana and Mink in that one and some contour kits um, a Becca powder that is the I think rose gold um, highlight from Becca and then there's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, a bunch of Kat Von D lipsticks. As you can see, there's tons of colors in there, just a nice variety. Um, the Metal Crush Shadows that are hidden in there. You guys know I picked up this one, and there was another colors, um, other colors mixed in there. And there was a Golden Setting Powder, too, from Kat Von D, which I'm about to pick up. That was really cool, just an under eye setting powder. And then there's this kit from Vegas Nay. Uh, I'm not sure the brand of this, but I thought that was interesting. Okay, this next find is awesome. It's the Soft Light Blurring Powder in the pink color from Becca. I thought that was such a good find. More of the Dual Intensity NARS shadows. Um, that's a Kevin Aquan eyeshadow duo that I found. And then some more Metal Crush. Um, I found a subculture. It was really expensive, though. It was still like $30, I think. And then another Aurora Glow Kit. Uh, a Kat Von D little lip gold lipstick set. I saw a bunch of those. Another Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. And then um, this cute little Bite Beauty set. That was like a holiday set. Only $6.99. Pretty good deal. Um, the Stila Aqua Glow Concealer. It was a deep shade, but I really want this. And also, I found the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in a dark shade, which I love to find again in a lighter shade because I love that one. Um, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Little Stick in Pearl from Becca. I think that one was $10. Um, this lip gloss from Anastasia. It's $6.99. There's some other little lipsticks. I found a Smashbox metal one, which was cool. And a Marc Jacobs Kiss Pop back there. And then some Stila lip liners in the front. More Anastasia. I found a lot of liquid lipsticks. And then this Smashbox Cover Shop palette in a Bobbi Brown lipstick, which was $12.99. And then this Becca lip gloss, you guys know, I already bought.
So that's everything I found. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.